here to show you how to work with my new stylized node. I create this node just to make a stylized material very quickly and you don't need to have um, a huge experience with substance to do that. So this, uh, this node will be available on Gunroad and all my top patrons will get it for free and my super patrons will get it for a uh, discount code. So if you want to check my patron in the description and you can give it you can get this for free. So let's start. I will take my stylizer node and you have three outputs here. It's the base color, normal and height. And we have a clean height map. It's for the ones who don't need these other features for this stylizer node. So let's connect the base color, the normal, and the height. And it's very simple the way this material works. You just need to take a pattern and drag to your scene and connect. And that's it. You already have a stylized material. So let me change to plane and able tessellation. And that's it. So what I, I will create uh, my own pattern because this the pattern is the only thing you need to do. So I will create a simple pattern. Rotate. Style sampler. In generation generator is already done. Okay. Um, change to image input. And like this. And the scale down a little bit. Yeah. and just drag here and you have your stylized material so i will show you now how to set up your stylized material it's um it's very customizable and you have a lot of parent to you can work so let's do this so i will start with the top in this shape area, you can work with all your shape. So you can increase the distance between the height variation. If I drag to the top, I will enable this. And if I scale down a little bit, you got some variation in your height map. So let me stay more or less like this. Okay. And edge around it's if you want more curvy borders. So if I enable this, use more hard shapes and if I scale you'll see more round so and this one it's uh, very good it's the border damage it's all about your border so if I disable this you can see the pattern similar than our first pattern here, our talent generation. So you can use this to make more variations to your pattern. So 
I will increase this. And this one is for if you think the your border damage it's very hard so you can smooth a little bit this border to get more stylized or the shape you want to be, to have. So I will stay with this enable for now. And the next one is our surface surface damage. It's all about the top of our material. So with this I can control the this all this round damage here. So I can scale this this small this small damage or here we can scale this big ones. So you can control this with a damage level. With this you have the heart shape. This you increase your your surface. So with the position render you got got more randomized shapes. I work a little bit with this and you can scale down or or scale so that's it okay um, let me take this a little bit so that's it with these small dots you can give the position rather with them too so you just say if you want to work with them If you don't want this one, you just disable the your damage level, or you can increase more. You have a really hard hold, so I will make this really soft. Okay, and now the cracks. The cracks. I will. Let me see. Scale a little bit. I will disable the cracks mask. Mask, and when you use the stylizer node, your cracks mask will be in one. You just move a little bit to the table and the cracks start showing in your material so you can get some uh, random shapes I scale random to more like this it's a very good very cool press cracks and you can control the height with this cracks too like this or this one okay you get a really cool tracks so and I will decrease a little bit this height I think this it's okay for now and here we have the ground selection in this ground selection you have four options but the for it's not working very well, but I will fix in the next wave version of this node. So here we can choose between a moss, um, a snow, and a ground material. And it's very important with these two numbers be equal. So because this one is for the color and this one is for the height map so it's very important this one to be equal so here we can increase the height of our ground 
like this. But I will stay with the mother thing or the snow. Let me see. Very snowy material. And for the last, we we'll have our color. And with this and this color area position is to control this white line in our surface. So with this one, oops, too much. And control the white lines. And this, if this one will be more soft or more hard. So you can close down it, it's the way you want. So I like this very, very soft and small, like this. And here you can change the color of these lines. Let me take the same color of this note. Like this one, here we can change the opacity a little bit. Yeah, and this one is to change the color of our grids. You can choose each color you want. If you want, like this, or dark one, just go here and pick your color. So it's very quickly I create um, a snow material and it's very simple. If I take this bricks again, just connect here. We already have this one. Let me take this checker and connect. I already have this one. Let me choose another one. Um, this the tail random just connect and that's it let me change the to the mouse again decrease a little bit our height map and our area position this one something like this so that's it this is how my node works it's I think uh, very interesting tool for you have in your substance if you need to work with a stylized material and want to do this very quickly, you have this too to make this. And this node works with Substance Painter too. So if you want to use in your Substance Painter, you have all these parameters to work to. So feel free to use each one of them. So that's the video for today. And don't forget to check this uh, the link in the description my patreon and my Twitter I have posted the process me doing this uh, this stylizer node and in the patreon you get it for free so thanks for watching if you want to like and subscribe in my channel to get more notifications in another tutorials in the future so that's it bye